Welcome to the 901. I'm Clayton Collier. We started the day thinking the stadium's bathroom fiasco would be the craziest part of the 64th annual AutoZone Liberty Bowl. Then came kickoff. Over 50,000 fans at Simmons Bank Liberty Stadium to see Arkansas and Kansas battle it out. The Hogs had a 15 point lead with three minutes to play, but Kansas came back to tie and force double overtime. Arkansas finally got the upper hand, making this stop to win the highest scoring AutoZone Liberty Bowl of all time. 55 to 53 and Kansas fans that left before the comeback could not get back in. So they had to watch the three overtimes from the parking lot off the Jumbotron only to see their team fall. Just brutal. Thanks to Steven Russell for the picture. Well, Memphis men's basketball opens conference play tomorrow against South Florida and former Tiger Tyler Harris made it known that his decision to leave Memphis was not his when he transferred back in April. Now Penny Hardaway weighed in this afternoon. I mean, Ty is a, is a prideful guy. He's, he's a really good player. He wanted, he, he, he wanted to be here. And, uh, you know, my whole entire mindset was on, for me, is to kind of get the program, you know, in a position where I, was, where I was very comfortable mentally. And there was no knock on anybody. Harris is South Florida's leading scorer and leading three-point shooter this season. The Tigers at 15-and-a-half-point uh, favorites for tomorrow night against the Bulls. And I'm just saying that three-point shooting, that could have come in handy this year. That's your 901.